Okay, I've received my three inch uh, tilting ram for my NX6010 that was uh, made by the good folks over at Michigan Iron and Equipment. And a, uh, a problem that I have is I want to run a neat little check valve system for an AMA style cylinder uh, that I got from Discount Hydraulics. And uh, the banjos on these rascals require that the inlet fittings be flush or raised up proud from the cylinder. And uh, this is the stock fitting that uh, Michigan Iron and Equipment sends this on out with. And you can see the inlets, they're recessed ever so slightly. Bummer. So, in order to make this work, this recess is a uh, SAE, Standard American Equivalent 8. And, uh, the banjo nuts are 3 8 inch British Standard uh, Perpetual 19. So I need to go from SAE 8 to British uh, 3 8 19. And uh, in order to do that, I have to go through a few adapters. First, as far as I know, a single adapter doesn't exist. And the way to uh, decided to go with it is to use a GIC. JSC's uh, thread pitch is the same thing as British, and uh, so screw on a, a uh, JIC fitting and just put an O-ring on there. That's uh, what's going to retain it. Hold the fluid in there. Then we start adapting the JIC on up, and we can screw in. Kind of hard to look through the camera, see what you're doing. There we go. Screw in what will be the fitting. Anyway, so assembled, it's going to look like this. Tightened down. We'll have uh, the tube that uh, you know goes through here in the check valve. So this is you know going to be roughly like so. Okay. The uh, thread pitch that's going into this valve. This also is a three eighths inch uh, British Standard Perpetual. Uh, 19 so I uh, again and and they send on out a uh, JSC ends so that's uh, a little easier just a quick little uh, uh, adapter on here now the JSC end would screw right on here uh, but because I don't have the tractor with me where I'm at and I don't know what uh, if I'm gonna run into a clearance problem or not I uh, I also got 90s so if I need them, I'll be able to shoot the hoses off straight out of here 90. So you can kind of imagine how this is all going to go. Uh, the right is the bottom. The left is the top on this cylinder. And so this is this is how this is going to be. And, and technically, I've got all kinds of space so I can rotate this entire mess if need be uh, side to side. Now, I will figure that out when I get out to the field. But... Uh, that's what you need, and, and uh, I went to Parker to get the bits, and uh, Parker's the last place I want to go because it's the single most expensive place, but uh, this is uh, my parts list right here. Here's the Parker part numbers. You can see them, and uh, this will make this inline check valve work uh, with this neat little AMA kit that I got from Discount uh, Hydraulics for, I think it was $58, so $58 for the... Uh, uh, the check valve, that's a good deal. Another $73 for the fittings from Parker, my local Parker job jobber. And then I want to say the cylinder was uh, right around 300 bucks from Michigan Iron. And uh, I think uh, it'll be money well spent. And I'm super happy that I'm going to be able to have a check valve in here uh, so that uh, I won't have any creeping going on with the cylinder if a hose pops or anything like that. So that's... Uh, I guess that's all I got to share, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.